The Canadian International is next. I wouldn't buy for this, I would think. It's a mile and a half, uh, Group 1. Uh, I took one Alman Zorva, Dan Hughes, Global Empire, Craig Beckwith, One True Faith, and Picasso for Leon Van Rensburg, Spider Man, Joshua Sutherland, Zulu Dawn, Stu Gray, Prince of Troy, Paul Rhodes, Highlighted Eyes, Darren Thompson, Land of Promise, Joshua Sutherland, and Regal Curtsy for Paul Rhodes, a field of 10. Ready to go. And away we go. Who's going to get the lead? It looks like Spider Man and Regal Curtsy are going to be the two who are going to try and burst out of the pack. And Regal Curtsy is the one that's going to get to the rail. Spider Man pulling for his head. Stable Companion, Land of Promise, also close up. And so too Prince of Troy. So Joshua Sutherland and Paul Rhodes having a bit of a ding dong for the lead. And it looks like Paul Rhodes is going to win that particular battle as he's the first and second at the moment. So Regal Curtsy then has got the rail, got the lead on the inside from. Prince of Troy in second, Zulu Dawn the Grey is next in Land of Promise and Almanzor, Spider-Man and One True Faith. They're pretty tightly packed at this point. There's nine furlongs still to race and Regal Curtsy is leading by about a length and a half to Prince of Troy in second. And on this near side, Almanzor in the blue jacket is third for Dan Hughes. Then Land of Promise, the Grey Zulu Dawn is close up. Spider-Man and One True Faith are also nicely placed as well. Looking towards the back of Leon and Van Rensburg. Horse Picasso wide on the track is just about Cheer in last place with Global Empire, but it's Regal Curtsy who's clear by about two and a half lengths or so now to stable mate Prince of Troy on the outside of Zulu Dawn who's on the outside of Land of Promises on the outside of Almanzor then a gap to Picasso and One True Faith wide on the track the uh, da Darren Thompson horse highlighted eyes is down this near rail is going to need a bit of look in running so too is Spider-Man and uh, then Global Empire is the back marker but it's Regal Curtsy who leads as they pass the five pole Regal Curtsy in the lead then changing angles One True Faith is in second Zulu Dawn third then Land of Promise after that one. Prince of Troy is being scrubbed along. Highlighted Eyes is trying to get going as well. One, a back Global Empire just struggling a little bit as they pass the bit of a brook. A bit of a brook. It's a great big pond lake thing. It's Regal Curtsy in the lead from One True Faith in second. Then Zulu Dawn is third. Prince of Troy is fourth. Then Picasso. These five have shot clear of Spider-Man who's got work to do. Then comes One True One True Faith is in the lead. Then now from Regal Curtsy. Prince of Troy on the outside is starting to motor. Zulu Dawn back in fourth. Then Picasso surely between these with a third and a half to go. And One True Faith and Prince of Troy are clear. Prince of Troy sits in the front of Glory Days for Paul Rhodes. Are they coming back as a furlong to go? But here comes Picasso sweeping around the outside and Picasso is coming through the challenge and now awesome absolutely flying his highlighted eyes Prince of Troy's hanging on here comes highlighted eyes and highlighted eyes is going to get up and take it highlighted eyes wins it a fast finishing land of promise Spider-Man came through with a rattle at the end as well and it was all changed in the final half oh, furlong you just think that Paul Rhodes is going to be working on that finishing kick in between seasons, don't you? Because his horses are going well until the final full and they just hit the wall. But highlighted eyes takes it for Darren Thompson. Prince of Troy hung on well to be second. Land of Promise third for Joshua Sutherland. Almanzor Dan Hughes fourth. And One True Faith for Leon Van Rinsburg was fifth.